the so heavy unit in front. They'll charge. Eleven. Well, I think. No trouble. Yep. And the. Yep. Again, oh, you're, oh, yes. you're surrounded by so many friends. Yes. I don't think you'll. We've got the commander. No sure control charge well. possible there, but I think uh, that will be good enough. Okay, that's uh, unit, seems 11. 11 regulars, yeah. Very normal, that, very no normal. Trouble. Nothing exceptional about my dice throwing, that's another, well, 11, 11 again. Yes. Which, uh, it's quite so, um, you will obviously... Can you move them the rest of the way, Stephen? Certainly, They're obviously both, going yeah. straight in and uh, you will take it. Take it, you're not moving. No, they must no. remain stationary to withstand the charge. I thought somehow that would be. Yes, indeed. I'll, I'll save your back. Yes, if you can move the rest of them. And we've got some some thumps there to uh, oh, yes. sort out. Now, I'm doing nothing here except, I think, uh, deference to their orders. We shall go into the... Uh, you're still in cloud stuff. We'll oh, turn. yes. And we've got plenty of room there to go into the familiar cantabrian. Right. This tactic was alleged to have been popular. They formed a circle and galloped round and round, firing their bows as they passed closest to the enemy. It meant that they had plenty of time to reload and presented a target that was harder to hit because they were moving. And that's pretty sophisticated stuff for alleged yes. barbarians. No denying that. Great These are the Cantabrian. And there it is at the bottom of the board. Now, first of all, shooting. Yep, OK. Can you wing your... Um, Stick across there for light archers and see who's... That's the range going. stick. The first half is short range, and past that it's longer range. Yes, we might be able to do a bit of swamping yes, I only have uh, ten of the lads there. This firing is done very logically. The dice play no part. All the plus factors are added up. Clear field of fire, range, and that sort of thing. The minus factors are treated in the same way. Heavy armor, a moving target. And this final figure is looked up against a number of men firing to give the casualties. That's rather nice. 31 at oh 1. 20 casualties and you lose a man. Uh, 16. Good. Oh, 25. That's a figure in a bit, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm hmm. an archer. Suffer once more. Okay. Of course, they're only javelin men, so they're not in the... Well, that's one figure deceased. Hmm. Uh, right, their reply, of course, will be at the centre unit. Uh, yeah, Steve we'll can't hope to do much plan. damage. He's only got one it's third uh, of the men. One with ten, which is only eight, Bob. Oh. It's uh, negligible. Apart from that... I think uh, there's no other shooting. Not. Right. Now, OK, melee's, Bob. We're down to melee's that now. Yes, now, over there. OK. For the melee, that's the punch-up, they'll use two dice. One normal, that's plus, and an average dice, which is minus. Yes, it's all cut and dried on the chart again. He gains points for the calibre of his own troops and the like, and, and loses them if the op opposition is tough. Now he'll check the final score, including the dice throw, against the number of men he's got fighting. Sounds unpleasant. Oh. Minus two. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Casting through against medium. Are they heavy cab, Bob? Yeah. Heavy cab, four. Minus two is a two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Fifteen with a two is nineteen only. Nineteen only. And I've got forty. Oh, dear. Yes. So we've got one per figure in the cavalry charge, which is a break. Yes. Well, not for Steve. He was grossly outnumbered and Bob was very lucky.
after the melee, every unit that saw a rout had to check morale. It is morale that wins battles, and this is how we stand. At the top of the board, the Roman Goth cavalry is chasing the Huns after their melee, but they are totally disorganized. There is still Roman Goth cavalry on that vital hill there, top right. In the center, the Roman infantry that was broken is retreating. Also in the center, Bob is going to have to make up his mind as to just where he's sending the Hun cavalry. I can't imagine that he'll let them try to take the Roman cavalry on frontally. So the net result of that is that the Goths are pushed back, but my Hun unit is pushed back, and those are... That left cavalry flank is developing into quite a dogfight. <laughs> it's looking rather, rather like a traffic jam. Yes, I have one in that direction. These Roman troops will charge those in the back. The cavalry are oh. caught to miss an opportunity mm -hmm. like that. Yes, we should probably have time to sort of turn around. You will, yes. The general will accompany them in this, will I feel. Yes, yes, indeed. I see. Rather keen um, at the moment. Now, these will charge these. Right, right. Um, and have you got any other charges? Any charges? Not at the moment. Just the, uh, the one on the left. Right. See if they, they go. Again, they've seen a route and a push back. But, um, oh, I don't want anything more. So they they will go in. Yep, that's reasonable. They will go in, yes. So I have nine, quite acceptable. Yeah. That melee on the top of the table is really going in all directions. To recap in the initial brawl, the Roman Goths won, but because they turned back and went through their own lines, they were pretty disorganized. The Huns, who in fact lost, managed to outrun them, which is a tribute to their maneuverability. They have managed to rally, and they're going to charge the Roman Goths again. That's halted for one more turn, yeah. Fine. Oh, well, that's not so good. That's a break. Now, Steve has been rallying his troops, and I'm pretty sure he means to attack Bob's Hun in the flank, and then to charge any remaining Hun cavalry. In fact, Steve won't have to throw the dice at all. He's going for three Hun units that are running away, and that gives him six points anyway. The lowest dice throw he can get on three average dice is six, and on that alone, he's home and dry. Bob will have to throw. Uh, no good. Duh. And it's very bad well, news for Bob. Get one more chance when they go off the board next time. Uh, any charges to declare on your part? Uh, let me see. One, two. One, two. One is straight, straight down, down, down the, the hill, hill, I suppose, at two units. And uh, the other one are these gentlemen. Well, I think will go straight ahead. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, right, throwing for charge. Right, well, they're all right. Yep, they'll be successful. Uh, standing the charge. Uh, yes, the top unit's going to be okay, and so is the other one, although it's in melee. But um, don't, well, they're going to get hit rather heavily. Yes, in fact, I'll uh, in, in charge against both units simultaneously. We will okay. charge here straight ahead. Uh-huh. I'm going to need, <laughs> Quite no, I'm going to need yeah. 13. <laughs> Nope. Which I don't get. Very so they will halt. I want these to charge in. Mm -hmm. Now these are the ones that Which were holding. Which unit is that, Bob? Is that those or the counter charge? Oh, the counter, no, oh, the counter, counter charges, charges. Yeah, the counter charges we did were all right, remember? Ah, oh, yes. But yes, the, yes, um, the others, I want to charge in on these as they come. Uh-huh. Uh, now they should be all right, but so let's see. Let's see what the bones give us. Oh, Ten, that's no good. I haven't got many left over here. 